this is us on clear up, uh, we're trying to pack everything up so we can head back to Rotherer and it's Saturday at the minute so we might get back for Saturday night. It's looking like a beautiful day, the uh, moon's up behind, the sun's coming up that side and it's pretty cold but the contrast is good so hopefully we'll get back home. How's it going Mel? Yeah, good. Just cleaning up the party poppers. <laughs> <laughs> you looking forward to going home or are you sad to go home? No, I don't want to go home. <laughs> I want to stay. I'm, uh, I don't smell enough yet to go home. I figured... That's, that's a matter of opinion now. <laughs> Arriving back at the pass, several crevasses had to be checked before crossing them. James and myself head off to probe the snow bridges. Once we were satisfied of a safe route for our skidoos, we headed down in the shambles. As the camera pans here, you can see a 10 to 12 meter wide crevasse. This is easily spotted by the slump in the snow. In this shot, the film slows as we bounce into one crevasse slump, and as you look just left of our tracks, you can see a small hole has been opened by our skidoos. We cross around six to seven obvious crevasses on our way to the bottom of the hill. On the McCallum side of the pass, when we're heading uphill, we pass a scary looking bottomless crevasse. The crevasse is unnerving to drive across, but at one metre wide, it does not pose much of a threat to us on our skidoos. This doesn't stop Sean or any of us putting our throttles down as we cross it though. That, Mel. That's awesome. <laughs> you glad you didn't know what it was yeah, before you drove over it? If I'd, have looked, if I'd have looked down the crevasse before I crossed it, I, I would have been a little bit more hesitant. I'm just <laughs> glad I didn't know what was underneath me. <laughs> yeah, let's go down there. <laughs> have a look at what you've driven over, Sean. Oh, excellent. I launched it about two foot, maybe three foot that further. Happy to drive over it again though? Oh god yes. <laughs> no, no problem, eh? Not a problem. This is one of those things where you really hope your rope holds, hey? Yeah. <laughs> You've done your gear right. It's oh, amazing. I have to go a little bit further in. Myself and Mel just heading back down 
uh, to Rother now. You can see Rother just on the screen there. And yeah, we've just had a fantastic trip, amazing weather. So that's now two winter trips with amazing weather. And hopefully it's going to stay. But uh, I'm going to head down and get a shower because I'm a bit smelly. And I think Al is cooking steaks and chips for Saturday night dinner. So I'll have to put my order for that. It should be good. Thank you.